still staggered by the effects of... Oh! <laughs> These, <laughs> they'll be fine. Um, fruits, these are fruits <laughs> and vegetables. I can't believe that just this kind of food, food that I absolutely used to hate, are a way out of depression. I'm not talking about clinical depression. Um, I'm talking about, you know, just feelings of being low. And they, they, they work so fast and I still, and I never will stop being staggered by what these things do. When you're eating, you know, very, very highly processed foods filled with salts and sugars and fats and things and, and, and man-made, you know, chemicalised foods, you... Hang on. <laughs> the last thing you really, really want to do is battle with these things. You know, they just seem so bland. But when you cut out the processed foods as much as possible, I mean, I'm, I still eat some processed foods. I mean, when I'm off the wagon, I eat all of them. But when you cut down on those things, these things become more tasty. Anyway, this morning I've already made an apple and ginger shot, but today I put in a courgette or a zucchini that I picked from the allotment yesterday at the house sit here. And actually, it improved the apple and ginger shot. I, could, I didn't think there was such a thing as improving a, an apple and ginger shot because they are pretty much perfect. But when I put one of these little things in, it actually made it really smooth and gorgeous and more enjoyable. I mean, I love apple and ginger shots. I could drink them all day. Oh, oh, hang on. But it was nice to mix it up a bit and put one of these suckers in. But the one I put in was about half this size. And it made it really smooth and gorgeous. And Dave agreed that it was a, a very...